All right, so it's early ice here in Wisconsin. Uh, we're in the month of December and uh, we're chasing some crappie. Uh, central, northern part of the state, inland, some amazing crappie fishing. Now we're doing it two ways here. As you can see, now if you see Brock jigging right here, he's basically jigging with a small spoon or a fire worm, most likely a fire worm uh, coated in fire gel. Now, as we continue to go down, if you see one of these machines, little apparatuses right here, these are live chartreuse fire dye minnows. You just wait for this thing to go down. And as that fire float goes underwater, you get one that way. So we're targeting these fish two ways. And you know, when we signed up for this trip, he basically told us, guys, this is not a numbers lake. You are not gonna catch 50 crappie like we can in other places, but what you catch is gonna be good. And guess what? He is telling the truth. Some beautiful crappie, some that would even make folks down south get excited, here in remote Wisconsin. Oh yeah, that's okers there. Smashed it. Oh, come on. Just walk backwards slow, just to keep it tight. It's right here. Oh yeah, nice one. It's a bass. What? That's a bass? Hey, I'll take that. Yeah. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Northern Wisconsin largemouth right there. Uh, Another bass. Come on, come here. <laughs> Another bass. There we go. Good one. Look at the colors on those things. Oh yeah. Nice fish. From up here in northern Wisconsin, pretty remote lake. Um, Using tip downs with fire dye minnows. We tried jigging. They just didn't want the jigging bite, but we got got a few on the fire dye minnows. Uh, this is what we're using here. Just a tip down. We got the fire float as the indicator, just so we don't have to set the depth every time. This goes down, and you just grab it, pull up, set the hook, pull the fish out of the water, and there you go. There you go. That right there is what you come to northern Wisconsin for. Big old gold crappies. Just like that. This lake is a lot of big fish. Um, there's not a lot of fish, but the ones that are in here are big. We ended up getting one that was about 14 and a half today. Um, we lost one that was even bigger. And we did get a few bass too, but we didn't really know those were in here. Uh, this is a real stained lake. It's kind of like a, a swamp area. It's not very deep, 15 feet is the deepest. Um, it's real stained, a lot of leaves around, it puts a lot of dye in the water, it makes the fish soak in all the dye, and they get real dark and gold. Um, it has a lot to do with what they eat too, they eat a lot of bugs, so they can stay darker. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. Don't be a bass. No bass allowed. You're not allowed to be a bass. You're a bass! Oh man! <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. Well, another bass. You know, it's kind of funny when we ask Brock, well, what else can we catch in this lake? Well, he goes, well, there's a lot of really good bluegill. There's some perch and people tell us there's bass. We've been fishing this lake for six, seven years. We've caught three bass total. We've now caught four in two hours. It just shows you a live chartreuse fire dye minnow. Anything down there, we'll eat it. Stuck? No, he's coming. Oh, another crappie. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Holy wow. Check, it. Check oh. out the colors on that. <laughs> this is a quality versus quantity lake. Um, we knew we weren't going to come here and catch 50 fish, but we knew the ones we were going to get were going to be big. Um, I do have places I take families to keep kids busy, catch a lot of fish, good sized fish, but not completely huge ones just like we did today. We caught four or five today that were really good crappies. Um, there's a lot of places that there is a lot of good crappies, but most places are the 9 to 12, pretty good size, good eaters. Um, 
the bluegills that we get are usually eight to ten. Not a lot over ten anymore, just because there's so many people that keep the big ones. Uh, we try to like the we keep the smaller ones just because there's more of them. The, the bigger ones, there's not as many. They're already big, so we try to let them get bigger. Try to practice that as much as we can. Teach kids that big fish need to get bigger. Not all fish are going to be big, obviously. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.